absolutely stunning. I don't know how they look there, they're huge things. There's my hand. Oh, beautiful colours. Thank you, Mrs. H. So welcome to the Wednesday shave. Um, and those, uh, well, I hope you had a fantastic Father's Day last Sunday. Um, and as I say, I'm doing, the reason I'm doing the father's shave in memory of my father uh, today is because yesterday was the 10th anniversary of his passing to the day 20th of june so i thought it was for me personally more apt to do it today so what we're using well the classic isn't it his old razor the gillette slim twist battered and bruised it works a treat this just simple how he liked it, he never cared, he just used it and that's it, so that's the razor, Persona Red, this is its second use, that goes in, and it's as simple as that, there is overhang on this to be aware of, and we're using this classic Shulton Old Spice, in the sort of porcelain mug, um, also known as milk glass, and I'm blooming that so that's going to be a pre-shave brush I'm going to use my own brush because I think if he'd have been here today he'd have had one of these uh, or one of them whatever made the one um, I think he'd have been proud to see the name on it maybe um, so I'm going to use that and um, basic stuff really as uh, a memory to him eight uh, ten years eight years ten years hard to believe you know you haven't seen your dad for that long really um wow time goes doesn't it but we keep them alive you see in memory and doing stuff like this and so it's uh they're never far from our thoughts i'm just gonna this is what he would have done just wet he wouldn't have used up any sort of pre-shave oh original old spot i can't beat this The slickness just in the in the pre you know the soap the water sort of thing oh that's lovely look at this don't need to lather up now again if he was here that would have done him he'd have gone for that but so we're gonna be doing it uh, properly the bathroom is starting to smell of old spice yeah right so we'll wet the Paul H films hope you're having some good shaves had a good week so far we're halfway there halfway to the weekend if you're looking forward to that um, it's been a hot week again so far but not well not as hot as it has been but um, it has dropped to the 20s now. Uh, look at this. We'll just gather it a bit. Um, but quite humid, you know. Right, so what I've done is basically just gathered the, a lot onto this. Bit of water. I said it before and I'll say it again to think of the age of this soap. Easy to use, the old scent. It's probably a weaker, slightly weaker scent than when it was new, but it's still there. Its slickness is excellent. There's no cracks in the soap, it's just I don't know, it just keeps on giving. Right, here we go. So a Gillette Slim Twist, first pass, Persona Red, second use. This one's for you, Dad. A 
here's an interesting one for you. A question about shaving. My father, be interesting to know if your father was the same. Um, he wasn't an office man, he was a, uh, a you know, working man as in used his hands, he drove a lot of big machines in his life. And he used to shave in the evening. Never shaved in the morning, unless he was going somewhere. But if he was a working week, he would have shaved the night before. He would get up and shower the night before. And then in the morning, it would have been a wash, um, brush your teeth and all that sort of stuff. And then breakfast, and then off to work. The beard would have grown on your day's worth. He would come home, have a bath or a shower bath in the early days and uh, he would have a shave as he felt clean then from the, the day's grime I expect Plus he used to play, um, he was in the darts team a lot. Uh, oh the slickness is, well I've said it before, wow. Yeah and he used to, so shaving in the evening was handy for that as well, he was sort of you know, showered and shaved and They used to travel from different pubs around the area, playing and competing in the darts against each other. And, um, obviously, each team wanted to win, but it's funny is there was never any sort of if one won or the other didn't. There was no, was there was no malice. There was no. Nastiness or jealous, yeah, it's funny. They, the other team would buy you a pint and congratulations, and you know, there's a helicopter going across the growth. That's probably him going to the dart. This is a lovely razor, so simple, yet it works. Every time. Honour to be using this and this soap. I mean, to make this authentic, I should be smoking a wood bang, really, or a, what did you use, use to smoke a pipe as well? And some of the, the tobacco they used to smoke in the pipe was beautiful. Yeah, even my mother used to like to, some of them. I forget the names of them now. Oh, that slickness is amazing, you know. I never, never get over it. Third. And you could tell I didn't sort of lather up for long, did I? Um, 
didn't even create a lather I just sort of bloomed it used as a pre-shave and then just gathered all the soap into this really and it's done this for me to think probably 40 50 years old the soap the health and safety people will be having a fit right, here we go against the growth I tell you a chap my dad met a few, few times was a He was a famous chap, really, in the end, uh, from from Bolton, Fred Dibner. And he met him through uh, a friend of my father's, who, who was a steam engine owner. Mike, he's passed away now. He had a steam engine, so he knew Fred quite well. In the steam rallies, or whatever they call it. And... Um, What was I going to say? God, I start these things, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, health and safety. Talking of health and safety. Now, Fred Dibner, as I say, is a local celebrity. Um, used to do programmes on him, on his steam engine. He could make the parts for the engine in his workshop. Everything was made, run by steam, hammers, drills, all sorts of things. Uh, he had a steam workshop. He was a, lived like a Victorian really. And um, he was also a steeplejack, so he would repair chimneys 300 foot high. Or he would bring them down the old way by taking a section of the base of the chimney out, putting wooden telegraph poles in and then setting them all on fire and when the wood burns away it would collapse in a, in the way he wanted it to go, it was very clever. But uh, these days it would be all cranes, scaffolding, ropes, highways, Safety check after safety check. And by the time they've done all that, he would have laddered the chimney himself, gone up, no ropes, nothing. Straight up to the top, lit a cigarette and started work. Yeah, common sense. He knew one mistake and you're gone, baby. So he didn't make the mistake. <laughs> Luckily. Right, three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Yeah, if you like stuff like that, you type in uh, on YouTube, Fred Dibner, D-I-B-N-A-H. What a guy. There we go. Very much. He was a millionaire when he died through his television success and his business and well as television things really uh, but he remained a very much a working man you know he liked to go for a drink a pint to the Guinness he liked always wore a flat cap <laughs> oh look Damn it, I should have got some risley. <laughs> mm. That's a lovely view. That is nice with the cold water rinse. That should be lovely. And I'm going to leave it as water, so no alum, no witch hazel, because 
I'm going to keep that bit here when I've done that. He wouldn't have rinsed with cold water either, he would have just warm water. Or as he used to say, tepid. Tepid. <laughs> yeah, I'm fretted it now. You know, we're going up the chimney, you know, and you know, the kind of thing, and he's the. <laughs> Shulton, Old Spice, it says on the back there. Um, and this is, I got, there's a bottle of cologne and a bottle of aftershave now this is what he would have used the aftershave so uh, give it a bit of a shake oh, come on <laughs> oh, come on yeah the original again we can buy old spice I've said it before Yes, it smells of Old Spice, but there's Old Spice and there's Old Spice, the original, same with Brute. Yeah, that's fantastic. Wow, I can smell it. Do you know, it's like he's in the bathroom going out now. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> wow, that would have been him done now, water, aftershave. Bit of a, if he'd have cut himself a few times now, I did, but I didn't feel that. Didn't sting. Um, he'd have a, God, sometimes you hear him, oh, yeah. Well, he, <laughs> but uh, I am going to put some of this on. Nivea Originals. Now, he wouldn't have bothered with it. Um, no. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice for the memories to live, live. Sorry I babble on about some of his. But things come to my head. And this is what I'm saying when you've lost, you know, if you've lost anybody or you've just lost someone and it's hard and you think you'll never get over it and you'll never forget uh, ever. Um, but it does get easier. Uh, no matter how. You might think now it'll never get easier. It does get easier. It takes longer sometimes, but uh, this helps. See, if you think of things, do things, use things, smell things, um, it really is like this. It's like he's not gone. I can't see him, but it's not like he's not gone. He's still there. So it's um, it's great, really, if you can ever do that um, in their memory. And it's slightly better than visiting a grave, isn't it? Because you. You know, it's, they're there. You know. <laughs> right. So that was in memory of my father's 10 year uh, or 10th anniversary of his passing. So we've used his razor, the Gillette Slim Twist, with the Persona Red, second use, the Paul H. Films brush, the H being his surname, um, the original Shulton Old Spice shaving soap, which I bloomed, used as a pre shave. Which I could have shaved with, couldn't I? You could see it was a good lather. And then gathered on the brush and then lathered on the face. Then we used the water to rinse. Rinse? Turn to Sean Connery now. <laughs> Old Spice, Shorten. You never beat the original. Absolutely stunning. Might put a bit more on in a minute. And then the Nivea originals, and that's it. So uh, I'll leave you to it. All the best. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you don't mind me doing this. Um, and I encourage you to do the same, you know, for any family member or friend, whatever. It's uh, it's great. So I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah, stop babbling, Paul. See you Sunday. All the best. Take care of yourselves and bye bye.